Since ancient times, the Japanese have believed that a life force resides in all creations. Valuing and caring for the things we use, a zero-waste life. Pointing the way to better living for a new era. In a sleepy residential area of Tokyo, we find a sewing school. The instructor there is Lee Rui. People who come to the school bring things like skirts or tablecloths along as they please. Lee's classes focus on remaking clothes that no longer fit or other unused fabric into clothing for children. ですかね、まあ、でもいい。じゃない。今の時代、それこそコーヒー let the lesson begin. First, a visual inspection. She observes the material closely. フリンジ。せっかくこれがあるので She's decided to make shorts for her son. Using a pattern, she cuts out the necessary pieces. Once that's done, everything's pinned in place for sewing. ちなみに、持ち針、止め方があるんですよ。で、布に対して垂直にプスッと刺します。横にして、ここの距離を短くするんですよ。短く短く短く短く、もっと短くして、こうすると抜けづらい。<笑> It's finally time to get sewing. It's been three hours, and now their work is nearly complete. Just then... A child's voice from the next room. 
The son of the woman mid lesson. Mothers being able to bring their kids is a big plus. While they're busy sewing, Lee keeps an eye on them so there's nothing to worry about. This student has made a one piece for her daughter. A long skirt she had worn for years. The upper section has been reborn as a sleeveless dress for her daughter. The bold pattern was mum's favourite thing about it. And the tablecloth that once adorned the family dining table is now shorts with an exotic flair for this woman's son. また Lee herself is a mother of two. Naturally, Lee made the clothes they're wearing. Since her first child was born seven years ago, she's remade over 100 pieces of clothing for her children. A coat her husband gave her before they were married, resized to be worn by her oldest daughter. Colourful one piece that didn't quite suit her is ideal for her youngest after a remake. Sisters in matching outfits. Both were made from a one piece given to her by a friend. Lee opened her own sewing school because of her experience after her daughter was born. Lee 
Lee had quit her job as a sewing instructor after giving birth, and her husband was so busy with work that they spent most of their time alone. Then one day, じゃあ自分で子供を連れて行ける教室を作ろうと思って、こう生徒さんも喜ぶだろうし、私も連れて行けるって思って、でも始まりはそれですかね。お母さんが自分のしたいことをするのってすごい難しいと思うんですよね。